Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing. You know, my dad walk on, but y'all don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on all social media platforms. Y'all missing out if you're not. Man, we got a special guest here today, man. This guy right here, man, he don't need no introduction. Uh, he got fans all across the land. Matt K the K baby is in the building on Boss Talk 101. The real K baby. Mama that go that man. What's going on? Yes, sir. What's up with it? E? Man, I'm doing my thing over here, man. Minding my business. I ain't know what's going on with you. I don't want to hear about none of the stuff you got going when it comes to the streets. All I want to hear about that music. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the streets. Who in the streets? Please be calling you. Are you a, are you a Christian guy? Nah, nah, I ain't a Christian. Ah, <laughs> Let's talk about it, man. Let's get into it, baby. So, born and raised. Born and raised, I'm a native at its finest. I'm the epitome of finest. I ain't live in Louisville, move down here, none of that. I'm, I'm born, born and raised, raised in I'm Dallas. Born and raised in Dallas. I'm born in Medical City. Really? Yeah. Heart of Dallas. Heart of Dallas. <laughs> okay, so siblings? Yeah, I got a total of four. 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 Are Two you the oldest? Close with. Nah, I'm a, I'm a mama middle child and my daddy oldest. Okay. Okay, so your daddy was in your life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that nigga name. Oh, you're junior? Nah, I'm the second. My son got my name. Okay, that's dope. Yeah. So, what was it like growing up in Dallas? Um, were you in football? Well, for me, in, shit. I basketball? Grew up, Cause you tall or tall? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm tall and hoe, but I ain't get my height until later, for real. You know oh, what I'm you a late bloomer? Yeah, I'm a late bloomer. And that's how my son is. My son keep asking me, like, Mama, when am I going to blow up? Like, you know, it, it's gonna I'm like, everything's going to come when anybody, nobody's going to expect it. Don't worry about them girls right now. Just wait. They gonna it's, regret it's it. The biggest thing for sure, but uh, shit for me, uh, I lived in North Dallas in a, uh, and off Marfa and shit mm -hmm. up until I was about seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to Oak Cliff, and then that's where we been residing since forever until I left and went to the military. Mm -hmm. So you shit, went to the military? Yeah, 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 I'm a veteran. Yeah, I told you. You I'm so not, young not talking about you a veteran? He's oh, so yeah, I'm young. A veteran. I'm My really, daughter I'm really in the military, man. That don't make no difference. Y'all still be good. No. Yes. You look like you about 19 years old. Oh, I appreciate it. You did five years. I'm the real K baby. Five and a half. I'm the real K baby. Man, my, my daughter been in there for how long? Yeah, yeah, Ten years. Y'all niggas, you know they say army. They say army probably. ain't about that life. No, they say no, the no, navy. Y'all niggas crazy. Air force. They say air force ain't about and navy shit for real. Is. Navy ain't about shit for real. <laughs> Coast guard ain't about shit for real. Me, I'm a ground fighting force. I'm a soldier. A soldier. Cause they say, cause one thing I realize, cause we've had a lot of people who've been on the, in the military on here, and it seems like it's harder to get into the navy. It's harder to get into the air force. Army just be like, y'all come on over yeah, here. Yeah, cause those on. those are more like a collegiate. Uh, requirements, you know what I'm saying? Air Force, you can't even have a bad credit score. They kick your ass yep. out of them, no bullshit. Yep. So it's like, I was. Uh, That's yeah. why they look down yeah. on the, on the army. Now, I mean, they just got a lot of money for real. That shit is like for <laughs> that's the Harvard of the military for real. So they the got army, paid better. Nah, they pay the same for real. Really? But yeah, for the most part, they ain't they ain't they ain't too much. If it is different, it's gonna depend on the location, not. So the tell bridge. me, going into the military. Cause you know we civilians hear different stories and stuff like that, but going into the military, what was a story that you heard about before you went in, and when you went in, you're like, it's not, it, no, it's not all that like what people make it sound like. Nah, them niggas made it seem like uh, basic training was some. I mean, nigga like me, I'm from Oak Cliff. I caught the, I played all sports, and I used to catch the door bus in middle school. Like, mm -hmm. hey. Yeah, that shit got the again. I was life in that motherfucker. It's everybody they from everywhere. Backwoods of Oregon. I'd met racist motherfuckers from everywhere. Whole nine, but uh, they thought it was. It was. It ain't how it. I just chalked up to be. Don't get me wrong. That shit really a culture shock, and it really had you fucked up at first. But yeah, that how that. Can that be in your face? Yeah, yeah, they do that shit. I ain't gonna lie. When I first got off the bus, yeah, them niggas were tripping. I remember that shit. I mean, that wasn't like the most like it just stuck with me because one nigga showed up in a suit. They had mm. that nigga doing push ups in a suit. No, they played that nigga boy. <laughs> they played that nigga. They they recruiter the recruiters play games like that. They be like, yes, yeah, wear a suit, pack a lot of clothes. No, nigga, don't 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 come with nothing. You're not wearing that shit. They you finna cut. They finna skin your ball. 
Yeah, I came that hoe looking like I was ready to run. That's, mm. that's, that's, wow. That's how you supposed to show up. Well, you, uh, who else? And, you know, when you think about what how you came into the rap game, like, you kind of did it different, right? Or did you For always sure. rap? Well, shit, I was always a creative. You see, okay. back in school, I used to make, like, videos, you know, when back when niggas was scoring on people and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I've, yeah. Always, I've always been a creative, you know what I'm saying? I was real popular at my school. I was the nigga that would be scoring on niggas, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, that's Et cetera. I'm that nigga, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Freestyle, lunch, and do shit like that. But as far as making music, I ain't write a song until I was 20. Mm. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But by that time, no, no, no. But then again, see, my military experience was a little bit different. Now, all five years, I wasn't on no military shit. I had caught a lot of charges while I was in the military. So in I the military? Yes, multiple. That ain't your multiple. first time here. And that's Mr. Multiple. Servo on got Mr. Mur Servo and Mouth P, the same thing. Multiple. They were multiple. More than I care they meant. More than more more than so you got. So you had a dishonorable discharge. Nah, 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 nah. See, I'm how you catch all them cases? I'm a and smooth not, nigga. That's, that's what why. I can't understand. Because people, because he oh, got this honorably discharged. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. he did. I will tell you what. I caught twelve, beat eleven, and I still got out with a general and honorable. Wow. I'm the real K paper again. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, what one thing I can say is, even though when you go through what you went through to get where you at today, mm. would you change anything if you had to go back? Uh, nah, nah, not with the military. A couple decisions where I made in there, though, you know what I'm saying? Like with my with my, with my my baby, yeah, I would have did a couple That's, things. Yeah, you know, all sure. that, that kid thing, serious. Yeah, huh? yeah so that, that should stick with you for sure. You a father? Yes. That's all. And you had a child while you were there? Yeah, yeah, while I was in the military. Okay. Well, how, how's the child doing now? You looking at uh, Now, shit, man, oh, it's, it's a fucked out situation. You know how you got them baby mamas and ones that just don't really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? My oldest child, my oldest boy. Uh, I got two biological chi children, but I have four. Yeah, you know what I'm look so, out for two. Of course, and it's forever gonna be that. But uh, my little boy, he um, he living right now. He I just found out he in Boston. Wow. He used to live in Georgia. Him, I mean, ain't tell me this. This as a recent type shit. But uh, man, he autistic too. Wow. Yeah. So like, I, I had my little boy by himself. You know what I'm saying? While his mama went out to the military. You know, just when I first caught my first couple charges. And she was just looking uncertain and shit. You know how that was shit it be. domestic charges? Uh, no, nah, that was uh, some other shit. Okay, it was that was violent, but you know, not nah. not towards her or the baby. No, nah, hell no. Nah. No, the reason why, because I'm saying, like, with them moving and I have to tell you and stuff like that, I didn't know if that was, like, you know. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's nah, why. I was a bit despiteful. And I had my little boy by myself. Like, I, my mama eight and a half hours away. I took my nigga to daycare. I went to the gym, got out work a whole nine. Took my nigga to eyes appointments, et cetera. And you paying child support? Huh? You paying child Yeah, I had to put myself on child support to get to see my nigga. I was about to say, yeah, that's she, how you yeah, know like, where no, they no are. No bullshit. Is, she alienated way. my nigga from me for 17 months after that. I couldn't even leave the state of Texas. Really, most of the military, but mm. you know what I'm saying. He that neither here nor there. He'll be back. You ain't got to worry about that. He gonna find you. You don't have to find no him. bullshit. That's the way it go. But um, you you definitely make him ways. Uh, you you did that mic check thing with that with the Go Diego. Yeah. How was that? Uh man, that was just making moves. I, I had a a tape dropping. That shit was so crazy. I had a a TikTok account. My shit had like seven hundred thousand. Before that song came out, which was on the tape, the Audible Stepper tape, they took my account, lost that bitch. So I went from 700,000 to about 600. What? Man, I was sick to my stomach. Oh, I remember the moment. I went, the whole room got blurry. I said, God damn, they got me out of there. Cause I was like, damn, how the fuck I'm finna promote my tape? You know what I'm saying? It was my biggest platform at the time. So yeah. uh, I did the mic check with Visual by D and shit. Okay. I just took it. I was in Brownsville, Texas. Okay. Took that bitch. And just posting, I was like posting so my fans can find my new page. You talking about West Texas? Uh, Brownsville, over about, by the border, by the border. Oh, you shit. talking about down by the valley? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, that, it's just a couple of them, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. hard right there. So, yeah. you, what you doing down by the valley? Down there. Nah, yeah, man, you doing nah, down there? Nah, nah, so, why my, did you choose down there? Oh, I wasn't living down there. My guy, I was just down there. My guy had surgery. I wasn't. Oh, okay. Nah, it wasn't no shit like that, but. I wasn't finna live down there with them folks. Yeah, nah, I got to tame my border patrol down there too, man. Them hoes. I had a warrant back in that day, but yeah, neither here nor there. But again, I post that bitch. I like posted so my fans can find me. Post that bitch. I went to sleep. Woke man. up viral. I, what the fuck? I yeah. woke up thirty thousand new followers, hundred thousand views. On what two, platform? On, 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 this TikTok. On TikTok. This TikTok. This like eight, nine hours. Present day, that bit had about a million views, but off that one video, and it of, went course, crazy. of course, me backdoing it a couple times with a couple of new shit and et cetera. But yeah, that, my, that song, Go Diego, it amassed over 10 million streams. That's my biggest how, song. How important is it when you come out with a song uh, to make sure that you hit 
uh, like those main platforms, those those main social media that's, platforms. That's especially if you independent. That's mm-hmm. just important. You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas like you. You'll follow a nigga like like a Key Glock or. A nigga that's up there, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gotta post that shit. They got a machine behind it. But if you're an independent artist, ain't nobody gonna know shit till you post it. Yeah. It's yeah. like saying, yeah, I got a podcast, but nigga ain't never seen no damn content. You mm-hmm, see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's like, it, that's real important. That's like step one. That's marketing yeah. yourself. Yeah. So how often do you think you're supposed to, as an artist, post during like these times? You know, times have changed. At you least play? every day. Every day. At, at least. And I say at least because you should be posting at least two, three times a day. I agree with Especially you Especially so if you ain't got no damn money going behind your shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, of course, add a little dollars. You got yeah, to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The more, the merrier. But... If you ain't got nothing going, yeah, you need to post every day. Yeah. You're growing. Especially this damn age, you can post some shit, go viral, and then tomorrow the conversation is different. Wow. What's the most surprising thing that you've uh, experienced when, since you've been going viral and people been knowing who you are? Like, what's what's happened that took you by surprise? What took me by surprise is shit that it could happen to me. That it could ha- even actually even happen for you like yeah. that. That's hard, man, you know, because everybody trying to do it, you know. Everybody ain't going viral. It's a lot of people that's, you know, they jump up and they do these songs and they can't get nobody to look at them because really what it's telling them is that your talent is not there yet because if you posting and tagging the right people in and nobody's responding to it, you just got a lot of work to do. And I think a lot of times I love the Internet because it tells you the truth. Like, it tells mm-hmm. you this is what, this sucks or this is good. A lot of time it sucks and people don't want to hear it, so they be like, "Oh man, I gotta be. I'm gonna take that down and do that." No, nigga, you gotta be. You gotta get your you, craft together. You know what I'm saying? You. That's the thing about it. I, uh, you know what I'm saying? Of course. Excuse me. With black men, you know, it's always gonna be a um, some kind of anxiety there when people doing things. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Most people, you know, what I'm saying, I don't know if this good or not. You know what I'm saying? A lot of black men, we're gonna go through a lot of mental shit as a whole and a lot of times it's really just a confidence thing you know what i'm saying sometimes uh, a no will burn a nigga ruin a nigga day you know what i'm saying it's the end of the road for him it just depends on really what kind of nigga you is a, that's a false belief a no or a rejection Facts. all that stuff if you let it affect you mentally then you already defeated because you weak you got to step your game up and understand you who you got to have self awareness. I think a lot of times people are not aware of who they are, and then when they find out something a little bit different than what they thought, it messes them up because their confidence level is not where it needs to be. You know what I mean? Yes. How important is God, man, when it comes down to who you are as a person? Uh, that's everything. See, my belief is a little different, but I do believe in God for sure. For sure, ain't no way this shit came about on some on some other shit. But you know what I'm saying, like. Uh, Spirituality is a big thing for me, especially with energy. You know what I'm saying? So I, uh, present day, you know what I'm saying? How I used to move. Because again, you know, I was, I was on some other shit. Yeah. But uh, I watch what I keep around me. Well, and when you say uh, it's a little different, most people like to get into debates, but I'm one of those guys that understand evolution. So where a person is right now, he may not even be there 10 days from now, five days from now, two years from now. So I never take a person for where they at and start trying to get dogmatic about what they believe in because that would be idiotic because we both still growing. Facts. <laughs> that's facts. That's, that's facts. Like I just said, the conversation could be different yeah. tomorrow. Yeah. Because now we it. ain't trying to figure out how a nigga gonna hear this song. Yeah. Now yeah. it's just about who the fuck we gonna trust with this song. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This, this conversation. Who would you change. like to work with in the in, in in the industry if you could pick anybody? If I could pick somebody uh, on the artistic side, shit, I want to work with. Uh, I was a young boy, but it more or less like the old young boy. Uh, I would rather work with Kendrick, uh, J. Cole, uh, Drake. Um, shit, even, uh, what shit? I mean, some some artists that pass too, of course. Really just anybody that do more of the, the shit. Gucci, man, like everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm in this shit for the art, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a bunch of diss songs and all the other shit, man. I make a lot of good music, a lot of versatile music, real music that real niggas, gangsters feel is, is universal, no matter where you come from. Wow, so is it, is it a thing where, where you feel like, uh, you know, uh, when you think about Dallas, do you feel like, how do you feel Dallas is doing when it comes down to the music? Let's be real. Uh, when it come down to the music, uh, now, I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a lot of people in Dallas doing their thing, but there is no cohesion. Okay, who 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 do you think doing their thing? Oh shit, uh, 
Of course, man, we know Big X, man. Yeah, I knew you was going to say that man, first. My nigga, my nigga I knew you going to say that man. first. Everybody, Everybody said that. I mean, but the reason being, and the reason why I say he doing this thing, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying, like, ain't nobody else doing this shit, but I say the reason being is because right now, shit, nigga, you him, man. He, he up there He pushing they pushing that boy And that's good mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying He's bringing more eyes Toward the city I can say so myself Shit my manager Didn't have multiple conversations Just off the strength You know what I'm saying So I mean uh, Him Rose Summer You got Sensi Miley Shit we talking about The whole DFW Oh yeah You got Lil Ronnie You got uh Shit Talked to Lil Ronnie last night you got, Shout uh, out C, my, my, my little brother CK okay. CK Casino CK not CJ uh, You got Young J.O. Man you got Shit, bro, you got so many people working, man. I can name a hundred motherfuckers. Shit, crazy, bro. It's, it's, it's a lot of people out here, man. man. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of somebody else who's really doing that shit. Even uh, oh, little Tajay. Tajay Ta-ta-jay. doing his thing too, boy. Because I, I see the boy come out with merch. There's a lot of artists out here that that ain't got big and they ain't even made no time for no merch. Ty Harris too. Ty Harris doing That's his my thing boy. too. Shout that out. boy, he went on. Uh, I seen he was on tour with Snoop. Yeah, he was. That's big. Yeah, that boy was. out the cliff. We gonna work too. We got. We gonna have some coming soon. Highly like, flavored. What's highly up with favored. that? Highly favored. And this whole say, Amen. Amen. You hear me? Yes, sir, man. You know what I'm saying? Highly just, favored. Yes, sir. That's just uh, that's, again, man. That's just that's good trenches music, good healing music right there. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, the the the, the whole uh, concept behind the song and this bitch is just uh. It's just one of them, when you're grateful. I was just grateful in that moment. You know what I'm saying? And when I make music, I capture emotions. What's your, what song do you think that, that right now, when you think of songs, that's the most, I know the uh, um, the one we spoke of just a minute ago, but yeah. what, what when you think of songs that mean the most to you, which one would it be? Uh, if I got to give them to you, I'm going to say uh, Rain On Me, Bows to Dubai, Lonely. Shit, Gangsta Party, that's my shit right there. And my shit lately. Yeah, but yeah, I got a, I got quite a few, man. I got about eighty songs out for. I That's mean, hard, man. I make a lot you know, of music. Just like I say, keep God first, man. Because a couple of dudes that sitting in that seat no longer with us that was here last year, just three to be exact. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I always tell y'all about God. I always handle y'all with care. Rough with, with care. You know how I am. I'm just a realist, man. I I love my people, so I'm always trying to figure out ways to ignite a flame in them. To, I want to see us go to the next level on a whole nother in a whole nother realm. You know what I'm saying? Fact. So I just I just say, man, you got to keep doing your thing, man. Uh, um, like I, what do you what do you top three artists of all time, dead or alive? Any genre. Every genre, any yes. genre. Oh, okay, well, shit, well, we go. Yeah, I gotta give it to Mike Jack, man. Everybody, Everybody. <laughs> that's Everybody. a good one. Though. I like because you young I, I though. Can explain though. Okay, I can go explain. Ahead. See, when when you're talking about uh, what makes an artist good, is just what they do in that genre. And if they just so unique with it, they will create their own genre within a genre. Now, when mm-hmm. you think of, they say the king of pop, he created that genre within that genre. Because when you think of pop, you can think of. Uh, Katy Perry and shit, you know what I'm saying? But Katy Perry is not a Mike Jackson. He got his own, his own wave in that genre. Even Young Boy, hip hop, experimental hip hop, he has his own wave in that. Like given the shit that he, you know, some songs he, he doing the most in them bitches. But if all in all, some of the shit he made is just unmatched. You 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 can't even argue with that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that came from consistency, not one or two songs. There's a plethora of them. You see what I'm saying? Wow. So. Um, Number two, I gotta give it to him, and then I'm gonna give it to Kendrick Lamar. Okay, you and, like Kendrick. And, and the reason being is because, uh, and, and again, where he landed in this hip hop is storytelling. His storytelling is unmatched. Even Darren, I mean, I've never seen a motherfucker tell a story just by the way he structures his tracks. You listen to one through twelve, you're gonna get a story. You see what I'm saying? Outside of the good music, that shit is different. That's the first time and that that shit kind of hooked me, which is a lot. Of, I guess where my uh, Storytelling comes from in my music, and then if I gotta give it to number three, see, that's hard, nigga. Look at me. Number three is always the hardest. Yeah. Because you gotta cut everybody else out. The game and change, right? It's not that you don't noise. know. You gotta get through the noise. Five, you know, I can give you a few, but you talking about three? I'm like, damn. Uh, shit, I uh, and I'm gonna say just because it's influential for me, uh, I'm gonna say Bobby Womack. 
Hey, come on, man. Stop, <laughs> man. What the you hell just happened? Like, Damn it, like, boy. This boy said, hey, what the hell going on? I was going raised on? on a little soul, man. You, you hear what the boy said? That decade, now that's real. different. No. I like different. You know, I hey, interview a lot of niggas. That's I'm, I'm, different. I'm Ruby grandson. You feel me? That's hard. The nigga ain't like never it. heard that about that. Hello. The nigga ain't know no about this about it, man. But it's the reason I get excited is because I like different. I want organic. And like even when I interview like Hot Boy West or whoever I'm interviewing, when I feel something different i know it's coming from a real place it ain't just something that's thought out and what everybody else saying it mm -hmm. hit different bro it hit different you know when somebody organic i know i sit back and watch okay this nigga trying to act like this nigga if you watch that ray movie which is a long time ago when jamie fox played ray yeah. you know that he kept trying to sing like everybody else he had heard and the man said man we don't want another this one we don't want to you could tell but when somebody's organic when they really come from a place where it's just who i am Shout out to Terry Cherry. You can't make this up. You know nah, what I'm saying? For real. So, you know, it's just, it's just, just that's in, all. I, I appreciate the realness, man. Yeah. So, hey, man, uh, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Man, you can reach me at uh, Mac Dash K, M A C D A S H K, man, on any and all platforms, Platform, man. man. The music, you know, M A C Dash K. Man, if you could go man. back and uh, talk to your earlier self before you went to the military, what would you say? <sighs> Don't fuck with that girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> Check it, man. Yeah, 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 but nah, man. I would have went in that bitch with a, uh, you know what I'm saying? I would have went on that bitch with more of a focused mindset because that, that's really what it was. You know, I just didn't want to be like every nigga. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, I wasn't finna go to college like with the rest of these niggas, man. I ain't got 45000 nor do I have a full ride. So we ain't come from money. Smart. My daddy told me that shit. Look, Vic, we ain't got 45000 and nothing, nigga. At least you These say, you listen your to your way. daddy. You see what I'm saying? But the nigga kept it 100, though, and the nigga yeah. was always a realist. You know what I'm he saying? He told you the truth. He, wasn't, he ain't show up every goddamn time, but the nigga told the truth. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? And that's just really what that I was. Like that. And, and, and that, that meant and more to you that. than anything else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, the, the truth. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to don't lie to me. The nigga, I mean, the nigga gonna lie a couple times. Nigga, I'll be there at this time. Nigga ain't show up. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? He doing his own thing. But me being a parent now, I understand. And that's okay, you know what I'm saying? But the nigga never told me no lies. He'll tell the joke, but he ain't tell me no lies. You got 16 bars for me? You, know, you want me to do 16? Do you man? want to? Man, we gonna hold off on it. Okay. We can, though. I was saying, bro, on, so I'm gonna come through that hole and wing dumb. <laughs> <laughs> You Shout gotta feel it. Summer, man. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> feel it. Yeah, so I'm a little under the weather, man. Yeah, yeah so we can wait till next week. We can't. We wait till we wait till. I'm gonna call you Big X to plug. That's what he said. You know, <laughs> I let you know, never man. Heard that. And now you see that nigga sis, man. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but it's all love, man. Check it, man. Hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show. We love you, big dog. For sure, man. It's Appreciate been another great segment. A, a boss, boss talk. talk one. Don't do that. Oh, or the boss is man.